Don is assessing his patient stage and the change process. Senora Sanchez, when I read a statement that best describes you, let me know. I'm not ready to quit smoking yet. I'll be ready to quit smoking soon. I'm ready to quit smoking now. I recently quit smoking. I used to smoke, but I quit six months ago. I did quit, but now I've gone back to smoking. The last one, I had quit smoking, but I start all over again. Mm. It is hard to quit, especially because nicotine is so addictive. Many women try and quit a few times before they stop smoking for good, so I encourage you to try quitting again. Senor Sanchez, do you know why you went back to smoking? Mm, we move, and then, you know, I got all stressed out again. Well, when you quit earlier, did you make a list of things you could do instead of smoking when you felt stressed? Not really. Well, what worked for you when you quit before? Well, um, I have... Let's see how effective counseling can be used in more difficult situations. Refer to the counseling guide for more in-depth coverage on challenging situations. Now, I've been thinking about what you said last time about smoking cigarettes, and I'm thinking about switching to chewing tobacco instead. I'm glad that you want to stop smoking, but chewing tobacco isn't any safer than smoking cigarettes. Did you know that you can get gum disease and cancer from chewing tobacco? Your baby will still get nicotine, so it's better for you not to chew or smoke. So let's talk some more about your plans to quit. Well, I've cut back to five cigarettes a day, but I do look forward to my cigarette breaks. <laughs> That's great. I'm glad that you've cut back. Would you consider quitting completely and finding other things to do instead of smoking cigarettes or chewing tobacco during your breaks? Yeah, I think I'll be ready to quit smoking soon. But I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to tell everybody. Do you think your family will be supportive? I'm not sure. My family has been growing tobacco for years and it paid the bills. And here I am trying to quit smoking. I don't think they'll keep me from quitting, but I'm not sure they'll help either. I'm just not sure I can quit. You can quit. Yeah, but I'd be all alone. Well, let's think of some friends who can support you when you're trying to stop smoking. Could you ask your family not to smoke around you while you're pregnant and after the baby's born? Okay, it can't hurt to try. Sometimes a woman is so tired of quitting and starting again that she is discouraged from even trying to quit. Let's explore this relapse situation. I've tried to quit so many times I've lost track. Last time I quit, it lasted for six months. Then I got promoted at work and there was more stress, so I started smoking again. The jobs can be stressful, but there are other healthier ways to handle stress besides smoking. Have you ever thought of your other attempts to quit as practice sessions? Each time you learn more about what does and doesn't work for you and apply what you learn to the next time you try to quit. This way you're more likely to quit for good. I just thought I was too hooked to quit. Quitting can be difficult and nicotine is a powerful drug, but you've quit before. We just need to figure out what works best for you. Have you tried to plan out when you would quit and what you would do instead of smoking? Yes, but what if I fail again? As long as you're trying to quit, you're not failing. That's a better way to look at it. I can help you develop your quit plan. Would you be interested in trying some medications that can help you quit smoking? I tried the patch, but that didn't work. I saw on TV there's a medicine you can take to quit smoking. Your doctor can help you determine what medicine might work best for you. I can make a referral if you like. Yes, I'd, I'd like to talk to the doctor about that. And if you need help, you can call me even if it is before the next appointment. Otherwise, we'll talk about it at your next visit. For severely addicted women, some pharmaceutical therapies may be useful. To learn more about this, talk to your medical advisor or refer to the guide for counseling women who smoke. To promote continuity when counseling patients, be sure to record your counseling sessions in your patient's chart. Include patient stage of change, actions that the patient has taken to quit or cut down such as their quit date, what support systems they have in place, their plan for handling cravings, etc. 
Recommended follow-up at the next visit. In this video, some counselors provided information about the North Carolina Tobacco Use Quit Line. Remember, the Quit Line can be used to supplement the face-to-face -face counseling that you do with your patients, not to replace it. For information about the North Carolina Quit Line, refer to the Video User's Guide, the counseling guide for women who smoke, or call the Quit Line at 1-800-QUIT-NOW or 1-800-784-8669. We hope the techniques modeled in this video are helpful to you as you counsel women who smoke or use tobacco products. These examples reflect situations faced by healthcare providers like you. Practicing what you've seen in this video can help you improve your counseling skills and can significantly improve your patient's chances of quitting smoking for good. For information about how to order this video or who to contact for smoking cessation training using a guide for counseling women who smoke, Contact the North Carolina Division of Public Health, Women's and Children's Health Section, Women's Health Branch, 919-707-5700.